escaped the hardest Minecraft prison ever. Uh, and my friends trapped me in this prison. And let's just say it was pretty hard. Okay, Minecraft prison. I looked when I looked around my room, I saw there was a chest in the corner. I jumped up to open it. There was some strange items inside. No idea what I'm supposed to do with these old items. I put the item I I'm pretty sure I was supposed to turn stuff into the mangrove log, so I did that. I ch and I couldn't I didn't know what on earth to craft. Then I realized I could craft a quartz block, but I didn't think know what I should even use that for. I decided just to d go with the crafting table, just because there might be some stuff I can craft. Then I realized it's that I could make mangrove slads, which is a lot better than normal mangrove. So I did that, and I grabbed the I grabbed so went to see if there was anything above the chest, but there wasn't. Then I saw that I could craft two daylight sensors. I didn't know it was the only thing I could craft, so I, I just crafted it because like I didn't know what it well what else to do. And then I grabbed the crafting table just in case. Then suddenly I was given three raw iron. It said in chat, you have been given three raw iron. So I put iron in the furnace and then I saw a stone pickaxe under some glass and I decided to see I didn't I thought the chest would be useful as a building block I didn't want to swap out and plus I need to spend all three of this iron then I realized you can actually use daylight sensors as fuel so I waited for the for the iron to for my iron to smell I wasn't really even sure what I'm to use the iron for, but I just thought um, um yeah, I just thought I was it was just meant to me. Then I just suddenly the ice there just melted and I just fell into the water. It actually really surprised me. Then I realized what I was supposed to do. I was supposed, I was supposed to, to um make a bucket and pick up the water. And I also realized I had a, a netherite pickaxe, it's not a stone pickaxe, a netherite one from there. So I decided, so I picked it up, up and picked up the crafting table. Let's go. I tried to go into the next room, but it was very hard getting through with the water. I started to think it was impossible after a bit, but then I finally got through no i'm capping i didn't i never even got through so i just quit the prison nah jk why would i quit the prison just because it's hard this is the hardest minecraft prison ever but i got through first thing when i first thing i thought about thought when i saw the second room was to get rid of the lava i placed an item frame down and placed my water there so my water wouldn't move then I decided to remove the lava with my empty bucket. And yep, the lava fell down just like you'd expect. Ah, I'm on fire. I thought I should probably just... I'm just, I thought about just getting rid of my lava bucket because I doubted that I'd actually need it. And then when I did it, actually, the obsidian came there and I realised I can use the obsidian as a building block. Yes, let's go. I picked up the obsidian as a building block. Then I, then I finally moved on to the next room. Yeah. And then, then I didn't know what to do, so I used F5. See, using F5 gave me a whole new perspective, and I was able to see a powdered snow I couldn't have seen before. Yeah. 
Alrighty, let's grab the powdered snow. Uh, I grabbed the powdered snow, but I don't know what to do. Wait, I know, I'll place the powdered snow there. Wait, I have lots of blocks still. Okay. One, two... Three, do, do, do. Okay. Uh, uh. And guys, that is enough to get over. Leather, leather boots is not something that I. Wh why? What would I use leather boots for? Anyway, I don't think I need the water anymore, so uh, I'm going to grab the powdered snow. And I'll just put... The <gasps> I know what to do. Did you know, if you're wearing leather boots, you actually are resi You can stand on top of the powdered snow. But if you're not... You'll sink into it and then start dying of freeze. Yeah. So, uh, guys, I know how to get up. Uh, um, no, wait, guys, I don't know how to get up. Out of lots of tries. Is it, I started to think maybe I wasn't even doing it right. Maybe there was another way to get to the top. And I was just failing. Then I realised I have I still can use some of these blocks. I tried to grab the mangrove wood at the end. But it just fell into the void. Then I realised I could and put down my powdered snow. To collect the blocks. And then I fell. Into the void. Well. I escaped. I escaped the hardest escape room. It actually looks kind of small. I bet it's probably bigger. But I escaped the hardest escape room. In the world. Oh my gosh. that That's actually kind of funny. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button. I escaped the hardest prison, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye!